Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with two personal boxes of the brand new 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Two boxes for Shahade. Thank you very much. Grabbed a couple random boxes from the bag, and they happen to be the first and the last. Box one, box 12. So four autographs total for him. Good luck. Baseball season coming to a close. And then the stressful, stressful playoffs about to happen. So it'll be, it'll be quite a postseason, I think. And there's still some stuff not undecided. We still have uh, still have wild cards to figure out. You know, Cleveland just a half game back of the Rays for the second wild card spot. Looks like the A's have a have a two game lead with the top AL wild card spot. So that's still undecided. And then of course there's an exciting finish in the NL uh, wild card race. Cubs and Brewers are tied up for the second wild card spot. And the Mets are three games back. Phillies are three and a half games back. They may have an outside shot if they go on a hot streak there. And Nationals have a one and a half game lead ahead of uh, the Cubs and Brewers. So there's still a lot a lot to be decided in like the last what, nine, ten games or so of the season, ladies and gentlemen. So. Still a lot of things that can happen by the end of the season. And then the madness of the playoffs. The one game wild card, the play-in game, which I think is pretty good. I like that format. It's a good format. Now there was a, uh, I saw a funny article, not funny, I saw a very interesting article on uh, MLB.com about tiebreakers. So I think, I think generally we know what happens when, when uh, oh there's Shahadi, what's going on? You're welcome man, good luck. Um, now we know what happens when two teams tie, you know, they generally take a head-to-head -head record or something like that. Uh, some variation of that, and then, um, and then you know that team advances, right? But how many of you know what happens when three teams tie for a division title, which is mathematically possible in the NL Central? So according to MLB.com, were the Cardinals, Cubs, and Brewers to be deadlocked at season's end, each would receive an A, B, or C designation. Club A would host Club B on September 30th, and the winner would host Club C the following day. And the winner of that becomes the division champ. Now, based on head-to-head -head records, right, combined winning percentages of Cardinals versus Cubs and Brewers, Cubs versus Cardinals, Brewers, Brewers versus Cardinals, Cubs, right, you get to choose A, B, or C. Right, if you whoever has the, so, so the team with the first pick, right, A, B, or C, can choose the scenario it likes the best. The team might rather play two games than one if it gets to host both, which is why a team might choose to be Club A over Club C. On the other hand, a team could choose Club C if it wants to rest a certain pitcher and take its chance on a one winner take all game, even if it's on the road. That's your three way tiebreaker right there. Tell your friends. You can win bar bets off of, off of that. All right, let's see what we got for Shahade. Two hobby personals. We got some color already. Behind JB Bukowskis is an orange uh, James Bork, 11 out of 25. <laughs> Big Boys 007 is here. He's David saying Giants are still in it. Are they mathematically still in it? I think they might be, right? Nice color to start things off, Shadi. I 
I think the Giants are still mathematically in. They're eight and a half back. They have to have, have to leapfrog the the Diamondbacks, Phillies, Mets, and then Brewers and Cubs. I'm sure it'll have to be one of those things where the Giants would have to win out, and then a lot of teams have to lose out. That would be a, that would be a wild finish to the NL. Dansby Swanson to 499. And the second auto out of the master box is Newton. Shervin Newton of the Mets. So a couple NL East teams. That's what he's about. And that's what James Bork is about. And there's Tommy Wilson, another Met to 250. Purple parallel. And the second hobby box. Big Boys 007 says it's going to happen. Giants are going to do it. What a wild finish that would be. That would be crazy. We got Jonathan Ornelas, Rangers prospect. Kind of come back and upset the, oh wow, that, that would be my worst nightmare, Dave. That'd be my worst nightmare. Giants win out, everybody else ahead of them loses. We've got four or five teams that have to lose out. Giants get into the playoffs, face the Dodgers, beat the Dodgers. Bruce Bochy wins another World Series. Uh, that, that'd be my that'd be a nightmare. I would, I think I would take a season off of baseball if that happened. I would just take a year off. You know, I'd be like Le'Veon Bell. I'd be like, I'm just taking a season off. I gotta, I just have to reset. We got Ronald Guzman to 99. Taylor Ward to 4.99, and Seth Beer, nice, 333 out of 4.99. Seth Beer autograph for Shahade. Jacob, how do you get into these breaks? You go to jaspiescasebreaks.com, and then you can browse around and see what break looks good to you. There's the website right there, jaspiescasebreaks.com. And that's the personal box for Shahade. Let's see if there's any other parallels to close things out. There is. There's Genesis Cabrera, 92 out of 99. There's Kiebert Ruiz and Mike Trout at the end. There you go, Shahadi. Thank you very much for grabbing that personal box on jaspiescasebreaks.com. For everyone else, if you want to join a group break, we got full case breaks of uh, brand new Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition, like you saw right here, and uh, HTA Edition. Only three cards a box, all three are autos. Check it out, jaspiescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.